Hello everyone and welcome back to Fate Grand Order. Sorry for no video yesterday. Something came up. Moving on. Let's see what's going on with this story here. Lancer team. Don't need this one to be here anymore because I maxed it. Babylonia will do. I see. This certainly is a lively place. I'm already forgetting the voice I used for her before. <laughs> I take it you don't usually leave the library much? No, I suppose I don't. My intention is not to be a shut-in, though. But I suppose I do usually end up perusing my library's collections whenever I have a spare moment. I was unaware just how much I had neglected to get to know so many others. This simply will not do. People often gather at the cafeteria, so it should be the perfect place to look for a lead on the cursed books. Semiramis and I will be supporting you and Murasaki Shikibu from the command room, senpai. Mr. Holmes is on break, and Da Vinci seems to be genuinely exhausted, so... Never mind Holmes. The reason for his indis indisposition is hardly a secret. Da Vinci was actually having trouble walking straight, so it's clear sh that she should sit this one out. Hmm. Moving on. <laughs> now then, as for this original cursed book or whatever. Oh. Is that yet another new face I spot? At first glance, you'd think you weren't getting enough to eat, but you've clearly been packing the pounds on in other places. <laughs> well, no matter how impossible your proportions might be, we cats don't turn away customers. <laughs> so go ahead and help yourself to some of this cat's home, cook home cooking. Woof! I'll even throw in a 99% newbie discount. What's going on here? Oh, if it isn't Cursor, and the Librarian! What a nice surprise to see you here. I'm guessing you must be hungry? And the Librarian Lady looks real down in the dumps. How about a sandwich? Everyone loves sandwiches! Oh, wait. Sorry, Lady with the Beautiful Hands, but we cats just aren't cut out to cook bookworms. Not for lack of trying, mind. It's just that we can't find the buggers no matter how hard we look. <laughs> I, uh, I see. Um, do you all know this cat woman, or... Sorry about that. Try not to pay too much attention to what she says. <laughs> nice to see you here in the cafeteria for once, Murasaki Shikibu. This your first time leaving the library? I see you know everyone besides Cat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <clears throat> she and that master there are looking for a book, one bound with an unus unusual type of magical energy. Would any of you know anything about such a book, Heroic Spirits of the Kitchen? Lady Semiramis. I mean, it's not like the only thing we ever do is cook. <laughs> I've definitely seen a lot of servants reading books lately, but I can't say I've seen any quite like that. There was that one writer servant. He's pretty much always got a book with him. But lately, he's been bringing whole stacks of them to the table. Did so just this morning, in fact. Oh, right. He has been reading even more than usual lately, hasn't he? Which one? Guess it's the new hotness. True. Heck, even we've been reading a lot lately. It's so much fun learning all these new things. Thanks for waiting, ladies and germs. Cat's back with an all-new entree. 
This baby is overflowing with spice and intelligence and is the perfect addition to any cafeteria kitchen. I give you us kitchen heroic spirits unsung hero. Shirasagi's 100 recipes. Cooking so simple even Batty can do it. <laughs> Hold up. Huh? Is there something weird about this book I had Raiko borrow for me? Pardon me, Lady Cat. What the wolf? Why did my book jump out of my paws like a bunny out of hell? <laughs> I knew it. This is one of the cursed books. I'm picking up an unusual magical energy reading from that book. I'll call it a cursed book signal for the time being. Pardon me, everyone. I need to recover this book right away. Man, I just cannot settle on an exact voice for Murasaki, huh? Hiccups. <clears throat> and heartburn. Great! Oh, I forgot to put my craft essences on. Whoops. <laughs> That ought to do it. Cursed book, return to me! Man, I just cannot settle on a voice for her. The cursed book has been recovered. It doesn't have much magical energy, so I'm guessing... Yes, it seems this was not the original cursed book. Fortunately, we can at least be certain that it was one with which the original shared its magical energy. I apologize once again for all the trouble I've caused you, kind chefs. <laughs> if you think this is trouble, you obviously haven't been in many cafeterias. I'm still not sure what's going on here, but don't worry about us. Compared to you-know-who seeing Nero's face and going wild, Salieri acting up, one of Phantom's episodes, or berserkers you can't reason with... Well, let's just say we're used to things not always running smoothly around here. For sure. There's pretty much always something on fire in the kitchen, figuratively and literally. It's gonna take way more than a little flying book action to make us bat an eye. There you have it. If you're in a hurry, Murasaki Shikibu, we won't keep you here. But I hope you'll come back sometime for a more leisurely cup of tea when you can. Thank you, everyone. That sounds lovely. Next stop, the writer servant's room. Understood. And let's see here. Okay, yeah, that was really short, so let's keep going. What 
team was I using for this before? Huh? Oh, this team, I guess. Okay, this works. Anderson, my friend, my comrade in pens, would you be so kind as to grab me a book from that mountain over there? <laughs> I cannot get my voice deep enough for Hans. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Are you incapable of addressing someone without foisting friendship or whatnot upon them? You know, on second thought, I don't have to do a damn thing for you. Get it yourself if you want it that badly. That mountain of books is eerily well-balanced. If I pull any one of them out, it'll cause a book avalanche that would certainly bury me alive and then come after you. What a shame that is to hear. Though I must say, if you had to die, wouldn't being buried by books be the best way to go? Don't be an idiot. I could never rest in peace if I went out like that. I'm already killing myself to get these drafts done. If I have to die, I want it to be by something other than books for once. Hmm, I see. I suppose that is one way in which you and I differ. You always put your life above all else, even your stories. <laughs> Guess it just goes to show that, unlike you, I'm not so happy-go-lucky as to want to filter everything that happens to me through the lens of comedy. Anyway, what's that book you just finished reading there? The Tale of the Bamboo Cutter. I plan on delving into the tales of Issei next. Oh, I didn't realize far Eastern literature was your thing now, Lord Shakespeare. <laughs> it's mine too, would you believe? As you can see, I've most recently read the Kokin Shu, the Gosen Shu, and the Shui Shu. You don't say, Lord Caesar. I'm doing similar voices for all three of them, and I'm sorry. There's only so much I can do for all these deep voice guys. <laughs> Your choices do strike me as oddly lopsided, but never mind that. Er, no wait, I missed a sentence. What strange coincidences are these? Your choices do stra strike me as oddly lopsided, blah blah blah. I should have known a man of your grace would appreciate the finer pleasures of poetry. Grace? Your ulterior motives couldn't be planner if you, plainer if you had them tattooed to your foreheads, you boobs. <laughs> <laughs> You just heard those are the widowed, widowed librarian's favorites, and you're looking for a way to get into her roughly skirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Caesar, what are you about to say? Other people's wives are something special. <sighs> Horrible. Secret handshake. <laughs> Where's Cleopatra? Please control your husband. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. I can't always stop them from horsing around like that in here. Horsing around! <laughs> Don't be absurd. I'm Lubu, obviously. What is Lubu doing reading books, you ask? Good question. All I can say is that I am Lubu. Yup. So if I read a book... That means Lubu reads it too. Do you understand my logic? <laughs> God. <sighs> You're the one who's mistaken, Red Hair. I believe Lord Anderson was addressing Master, not us. Good grief. So much for my idea to move to a real study instead of the simulator just so I could bring in real books. It's so damn noisy in here I can't get anything done! At this rate, I'd have been better off holding up in a hotel and working on a Little Mermaid sequel or something. Yeah, why bother? Bother? Anyone with half a brain could see the twist that she's actually half sea serpent coming a kilometer away. <laughs> sure is lively in here. Yes, it's very lively. Usually the study is kind of quiet, but today it's like... 
Well... <laughs> what were you going to say, young lady? That it's like a stable in here? N no it's not that. I was going to say it's like... A writer's lounge? Oh, okay. Sorry about that. I ought to know better since I'm Lubu. <laughs> say, just out of curiosity, how do you feel about horses? <laughs> Horses? Well, uh, I think they have very gentle eyes. Okay then. <laughs> She's shaking! <laughs> oh, sorry again. I was just so happy to hear that I couldn't help myself. Not that I have any connection to horses, of course, seeing as I'm Lubu and all. <sighs> Easy, red hair. Why don't you take a break and go have some of the feed I brought along? <laughs> See, it's right over there. God. There are so many different heroic spirits here. I had no idea there were any that resembled horses like that. If I'd stayed in the library, I might have gone my entire manifestation without ever learning a thing. And then there are all the different ways they interact with one another. What a moving sight. And above all, it's such a thrill to see heroic spirits of the authors I admire go about their daily lives. This is one of the luckiest days of my life. Well, of my manifestation, that is. That's one way to look on the bright side. I was so happy that I forgot myself. I was like this back when I was alive during the Heian period, too. I was always in awe of people who had proven their intelligence and talent through their beautiful poetry. In fact, I would often introduce myself by saying, Murasaki Shikibu, aka Fujiwara no Karuko. Uh, I miss what she said. My mental age is 19 years old. Oh, okay. And my type of man is anyone like Lord Ariwara no Narihara, or Narihira. N not that Ariwara no Narihira and I lived in the same time period, of course. He was a great source of inspiration for me, however. Please, tell me more. I would love to hear all about the day-to-day -day life of the Far East's most esteemed female author. And I must say, it is fascinating to hear you speak in person. The very lilt of your voice is enough to stir my pen. Your pen, huh? <laughs> oh yes, there truly is something special about woman of nobility. Your demeanor is exceptionally pleasant as well. You practically radiate poetic sentiment. Forgive me for being so brazen, but I have also heard rumors of your palace romances. If you would be so kind, I would like nothing more than to interview you about the ups and downs of romance in Far Eastern noble society. Oh, does that mean your interest in her is purely professional, Lord Shakespeare? <laughs> Not that it matters to me one way or the other, of course. <laughs> I believe you'd best hold your tongue, friend, lest your dear wife make an unannounced appearance. If you don't put a stop to this, they're going to go on leering forever. Go on, speak up. You cursing them out would go a long way towards keeping these fools in line. Uh, oh no, I couldn't possibly. I'm... I'm just so honored to have such illustrious company take an interest in me. Hmm? Well, um... I know it's presumptuous of me, but if you should ever be inclined to write a new story, I was kind of hoping you might be willing to donate it to my library. What? Now that you're a heroic spirit, you fancy yourself an editor? Not that I don't understand how you feel. <laughs> this is a chance you won't ever find it elsewhere. Not in heaven or hell. Believe me, whenever Shakespeare writes something new, I make sure to read it before anyone. Never mind. I shouldn't have said that. There's something about the, you that makes me relax my guard. Maybe because you remind me of someone? 
I think that's enough of this. Yes, no more. This conversation is over. <clears throat> now, what are you lot doing here anyway? Surely you didn't come here just to see which of these idiots can embarrass them themselves the worst. <laughs> what is it? Go on, spit it out. A curse book, huh? I guess I could see that happening with Eastern curses. I don't mind sussing it out for you, but I barely even know any magecraft, let alone curses. Likewise. <laughs> After all, we are students of the pen, not the wand. I'm not even a caster! <sighs> there you have it. So, if you want to turn the place upside down to look for this book, feel free. I still haven't cleaned up here since the move, so it's not like you could mess it up more. Okay, in that case, I'll just go ahead. Oh, there are cursed books in this study. More than one, in fact. I'm seeing their signals on my end, too. They're rapidly boosting their magical energy in response to your detection curse. Look out, Senpai! They're about to take on physical form! Let's get to work. Okay. Really? Oh, come on. That took longer than it strictly needed to, but oh well. How much do I have now? Uh. Um, let's see now. Yeah, this is starting to reach a good length, so I think I'll just go ahead and end this video here. Um, well, first of all, um, additional comment that, um, I did run a poll about if, um, the Valentine scenes should have me doing commentary on them or not, and it only got one vote, but the vote was for no, so I guess that's how I'm gonna do it. Um... Yeah, I think that's it. 
So if you've enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't yet. If you like my videos and your friends like the same kind of things you do, they'll probably like them too. So please tell your friends about my channel. It would super help. My coffee link is in the description as per usual if you'd like to leave a tip. No obligation, no pressure, but it's a huge help. Um, my Twitter is also in the description. Follow me there. I post updates there. I try to do polls and stuff there. So yeah, give me a follow there. And I believe that is everything. So, I will see you all next time.